we really get into the real big leak stuff here now, because this is the real essence behind the presentation. Every time the rain sets up, we get our anchors wet. And when we get in these wet, we want to change the government. <laughs> This shows all the wards that are affected. Queenstown, Albertown, Commons, Borough, North Crown, Borough, South Border, Lacey Town. All these, believe it or not, trained only by three sluices. Three sluices. And if you look carefully, you see there's nearly 700 acres, the 15 only houses. These are houses now. These are house lots. It means that some house lots could have two or three houses. But when you look at some figures, they just should blow the mirror away now. If you counted all the concrete roadside drains, it's over a quarter of a million running feet. Look at this in here. Quarter of a million feet. And if you look at the alleyways, concrete is again, 67,000 feet. And the concrete channels, 4,500. Where did this come from? This is the Orange Walk channel in front of the board market. It runs from North Road to Crow Street. North, North Road to South Road. There's a, there's a concrete channel. You might not find it, but it's there. <laughs> And the other one is this one here in the Wise Road. It starts by St. Sidwell's Church and goes down Hatfield Street, turns into the Wise Road, and ends up at uh, Prince Street. But those channels are all in existence. So these would have saved the day in Watmanville, and this would save the day in Border. Most of Border would drain to that concrete channel and then filter out either to Church Street or to South Road. But uh, we will, we will, I'll spend a little bit more time developing this stuff. Next. So this is Church Street Canal, two or three or four by Monshaw Sandwich Park, and this is the one by Jack Finance, and the one by Prince Street. So look at the size of the area that's being drained. This is Middle Street by Empire Plaza. This is the St. John Road around the gardens, and going all the way down to Dowling Street by the jail. So now the water in this area flows north, reaches South Road Canal, catches <coughs> into the canal in High Street and goes through there. Similarly, this one in Church Street takes some of the water from Albertown, Queenstown, Albertown, Commons Park, and the other half goes the other way to the Lamar Street, and some goes back to Corbin Street, but it's interlinked. It will become clear in a moment, I'll show you why. But just, just, just digest the, the areas that we're talking about. This is Middle Street. So this cocoa is looking after from Middle Street to Church Street and part of it from Regent Street to Church Street. The other half of Regent Street goes to South Road, and all of Starbrook, Walkmanville, and part of Walkmanville goes to Crow Street. Now they meet in the middle in High Street Day, and some go through there, and some go through there. We will talk about Prince Street in a little later from the next time. So this is the cocoa that you see, you should see, if you were at Mount Schwarz. It's a very small door, very deep, below Charlie Dayton. Next one. This is the one by John Finance. It's all fenced off from the vendors and people who run to make mischief. But very, very, very well kept. Next one. And this is the one by Princess Street with the pump. 